Hey guys, so it has been a while, I know, I know, but first off, let me say a huge thank you to Accenture's Hair for sponsoring this style for the summer. All right, guys, so thank you once again to Accenture's Hair, and you already know the vibe over here, guys. I am just going to very quickly do a quick little rubber band method crochet hair with this passion twist hair now this is pretty short um hair than i'm like normally used to you know what i mean but i wanted something short for the summer y'all know it's summertime i'm in oklahoma and it is hot so you're just going to start by going ahead and making so i call them blocks i really don't know <laughs> what you want to call them you want to part your hair basically to make a square and as you can tell i am just going in with that let's jam just to kind of lay my hair down a little bit more now the reason you do the individual squares or boxes at the front is just because it gives you the illusion of having individual crochet so you're going to part your hair slightly above half box the top half of it and then the back you can just like cornrow or braid or whatever now I have two squares kind of on top of each other as you can see and the hair from the first one I just brought back to the second one have rubber bands on each just so it kind of stays together and then I'm going to braid all of that excess hair now, as you can see, I am trying to, I'm not going to lay my edges down right now, but I am going to pull them out. I absolutely hate trying to do it once my hair is already rubber band up. One, it makes it frizzy, and two, I just feel like I am placing a lot of pressure on my baby hair. So as you can see now, I'm just braiding everything together so I can send it back, and then we can put that mesh cap on. So I braided the excess hair up and as you can see the hair that I had left over in the back I just threw that in some braids as well. Now I'm going to go in with a mesh wig cap, just mesh, and I am going to place it where the top band of the wig cap is slightly behind those squares I created. I know it's a weird kind of fit, you're like is it going to fall off, it's not because we're going to crochet through that feel like I've done this in a lot of videos, but just in case I have some new subscribers or some people that just want a little bit of clarification on how it's done, this is how it's done. I'm also going to tuck in my braids in that mesh cap, and like I said, just make sure it's kind of behind those boxes that you created. Now, the star of this show, the Asuntress hair. Once again, you guys, this hair was lovely. All right guys, so this hair came in 14 inch. It is pre-looped and it came with seven packs, you guys. I know a lot of times when you order, you may order like two orders of hair, but really one pack is all that you need for this type of hair, especially doing the rubber band method. One pack is definitely enough. You guys, this was some of the softest hair that I have reviewed. It's crazy. So like I said, it is pre-looped. And very quickly, how to put it in, if this is your first video, just go ahead, stick your finger through that loop, open your crochet hook and hook it on the hair. Then you're going to close your crochet loop like I'm doing right now with my thumb. Bring it back through your hair. You're gonna find that loop at the top again. Put your fingers through it, usually your thumb and your uh, pointer finger and then just bring the hair down. Then you're gonna want to tighten it and boom, look at that girl, you got a crochet braid, yes. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do it one more time. Just pull it in, hook the hair, close it. Make sure you close it girl because that can pull some hair out and it's painful. And then you're going to just tighten it up and just like that and looking at it, I can see my parts were not straight, my bad. <laughs> but now I'm just going to finish up working on the front row of the hair that I'm doing and adding this crochet hair to it. And you guys, once you get in the group, does anybody else do this? Love, listen, if I'm doing my hair, I'm always pulling it up to see how it's falling, how it's looking, how it's going to look in a ponytail, even though I only have five strings in here, it's what I do. But anyway, so yeah. I'm just going to go ahead, like I was saying, once you get the hang of it, sis, like you're good. 
you know, you may kind of go slow on the first one, the first one, two, three, but after about that fourth one, you're going to have the hang of it and it's going to be so easy to do. So a crochet style is one of my favorite styles, especially for the summer, just because it's so cool. Now, I notice when I rubber band, I rubber band towards the back of the box. Do, do you guys understand what I'm saying? I pull the hair kind of towards the back. Oh, let me tell you this part real quick. So once you crochet over the net, you're just going to do the same thing, only you're going to bring the crochet needle through the net, the net and your hair. So you're going to loop both of them and then you're just going to do the same thing. Loop it, put it over the hair, close it and pull it through. And that's going to make sure that that mesh cap is not going anywhere. So at this point, you can kind of straighten it up a little bit, see where you want it to lay and all that good stuff. So what I was going to say is that I noticed when I rubber band, I rubber band towards the back of the box. Like you see how my hair is parted off in a little box and I kind of bring the hair to the back of the box. I need to start bringing it to the front because as you can see those front braids of mine, those crochets, they're kind of back a little bit. So at the end of the video, you will see me go back in and add some crochets right there. You see right there? It's like, I don't know, it's a habit. I always rubber band to the back of the box. I need a rubber band to the front at least on that front row. But anyway, you will see me go back and add more crochet hair in the front just because I'm not trying to do my hair and it looked like it's been done for two weeks. Now you guys, two packs in and now three packs in. So you can see how quickly this is going and also how much like real estate on my head these braids are taking up. So pack number four and of course now we are done. So I kind of flipped it in the back and you still see that I have some spaces there. So I'm going to go back in with pack number five and just fill in some of the gaps. I always kind of have one or two left to the side even once I'm done just so I can see okay do I need some more you know are there any gaps if I swing my hair. I know y'all always see me swinging my hair in my video it's not just because I like to do it. I'm actually seeing like if the wind blows or if I'm walking or something child I'm not trying to have y'all seeing no mesh so I'm trying to just make sure everything is situated and now I'm going back in the front and just kind of add some more in because I just didn't like how far back it was that's like my trigger but listen sis look at this of Suntress hair and of course I'm going in with some olive oil gel control and I'm my little edge breast and I'm just trying to lay down something. I'm not a big baby hair person to be honest with you but I do think you need to do something just to kind of you don't have to slick them down but just you know to, to make them look tame. I really prefer the olive oil gel uh, edge control too it's one of my favorites. I do know there's some more out that I want to try. I haven't tried yet, but I'm excited to. And you guys, look how this hair turned out. Listen. Wait, wait. But first off, look at me with the edits. Yes, girl. But this hair is gorgeous. It's soft. It smells good. It's soft. I have to say that like four times. This hair is soft. It's like seriously pillow soft you know what I mean and it's really cute I'm not a fan of short hair a ton but this like sis this I can do so let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about this hair listen I was just doing the most playing with these edits because I learned how to reverse <laughs> but yes comment down below what you guys thought about this Hair. I have a very round face. I usually like longer hair, but I was really feeling this and it was nice and cool. I'm going to link a Suntress hair down below in the description box. And yeah, definitely head on over to Amazon.com. Definitely pick up a pack or two. Now, just for your information, I ended up using five and a half packs, which means I still have some left over. Got to love it. A Suntress is the bomb. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Okay, bye.